Hello, it's Leslie here. Today I'm going to review these Castelli Super Leggera socks. This is the 12 version. So they also come in 18 the length version, which is a bit taller, but I, those are very hard to get. So, uh, first I want to say, why should you use cycling socks? Well, I thought the same sort of thing when I was about 15 or 16 and I just used to use ordinary cotton socks. And what happens is your feet end up sweating and they end up being a bit damp with sweat. So uh, I quickly switched to cycling socks. Um, they also provide a bit more comfort and they don't fall down and they, so they breathe better and you don't sweat. And also they last longer. So they don't tend to get holes in them. So anyway, these are my current favorite sock. And um, you can actually get the, um, well, I'm size 43 or size nine in the US. And I have got both the large extra large and also the small medium. Now these small medium, look, if you compare that to the size of my head, they're they they look they look like they'd never fit on your foot but they're very stretchy so they will um stretch i i i prefer the smaller ones so uh i'm going to also compare them a bit later on to the giro uh, socks but first i wanted to say yeah they they have a good padding on the on the sole of the foot at the ball end of the foot there and i've been mainly using these giro socks lately and i put these on um the other day and i forgot about them and i went for a ride and I noticed something was different without thinking about without thinking about it because I wasn't thinking about this before. I thought something feels different on my feet. Uh, it feels more comfortable. So, you know, it feels squishier under my feet, and so <clears throat> yeah, they do feel a little bit spongier. It might be because these have lost their sponginess. I don't know. The ones that I've been using, uh, they might have they might have been like that when they were new. But anyway, so these are quite nice and spongy. Um, they are, I just weighed them, they are pretty lightweight. These small medium pair weigh 25 grams per pair. I think they weigh one gram more if they're um, the large size. And for example, these ones here, Giro, they don't look that bright in the image for some reason. They look like they've lost a lot of color, they've faded. These weigh 40 grams, so that's actually 15 grams more, which is quite surprising really for socks. But anyway, so there you go. 15 grams more for those. Anyway, and the reason I think is if you look at them, the mesh, I'll try and squeeze, do this like this. If you look at the mesh, when you, it's very open. You know, you can actually see my, my fingers through it. Now, if you look at the Giro ones, they don't, first off, they don't stretch so much, but they aren't, they aren't quite as porous. I don't know if you can see that, but they aren't quite there. So I'd be using these as summer socks. They're not the thinnest socks because they've got this weird, because of this weird um, mesh, um, they kind of got thickness to them, but they are they they end up being very open, as I say, they end up being very open weave. You can see my um, hand through that. So I really like them, and they're pretty. They're very similar. Both socks. I tried both. I have tried other socks in the past. Asos and Defeat Aerator socks. Um, the Defeat ones lasted, a, well both the Asos and the Defeat ones were lasted a really long time. I think the Aerator socks were one of the la longest lasting socks I ever had and they lasted more than 10 years for one pair of socks. So what I tend to do is downgrade them from cycling socks when they become a bit cruddy looking 
and just wore, wore the, wear them as normal socks around the house because they kind of they still they still don't fall down as as normal socks. Now, what else was I going to say? Uh, yeah, the one difference I noted between them was that on these on these giros, for example, this padded section it barely covers the ball of your foot is ends up here. Now, if you look at these, the and you stretch them to the same length the the padding comes down further in the I, I can't show you on the on the thing it's impossible the padding comes down further across the ball of your foot so it covers the ball of your foot a bit nicer on these castelli socks anyway i really recommend these socks they're my favorites at the moment but i don't tend to put them on all the time because they're quite expensive and uh, I've, I've, these are, I've, I'm kind of saving them for the longer rides, you know, I'm kind of saving them for my best rides. And so that's why they look a lot newer. Anyway, um, I have three pairs of these and uh, they're going pretty well. I would recommend putting them on the gentle cycle if you're in your washing machine. Because um, they are likely to grab with all this open mesh stuff you know that is likely to grab a thread and pull it out and that happened on these giro socks yeah it happened to me they pulled a thread and i was a bit annoyed it might have sort of fixed itself a bit i can't find where it pulled again but be careful because they are they're not that they're very um susceptible to damage you know if you look at the giro ones for example they've got a lot of different types of weave they've got this section here then they've got this they've got this section here and they've got this section here and then they've got you know the the, the padded bit so they they're well made and the other thing I wanted to say as well, with these Castelli ones, they have a nice band there that's, that's sort of comfy, stretchy. Anyway, so that's about as much as I want to talk about socks. But there you go. Um, I'm waiting to get the longer ones to see how they go. I wanted to get the longer ones for spring and autumn, but I wasn't able to. They're out of stock everywhere. So if you see them, I'd grab them. All right. Thank you for watching. Bye.